Republicans promised a red wave, but it's been more of a red ripple. And even before all votes had been counted, the fallout has already begun. High-profile candidates like Mehmet Oz in Pennsylvania and Tudor Dixon in Michigan had the fierce backing of ex-president Donald Trump, but they lost. And many in the Republican Party are asking questions. But, you know, I, I think a lot of Republicans like me are, are waking up this morning going, what could have been? What could have been if we would have picked a better candidate that could have won with a margin? For Republicans on the more moderate side, the radicalism of the Trump faithful didn't play with the electorate. Their platform of anti-abortion, disinformation and election denial was taken straight from the Trump guidebook. But even before the results were out, the billionaire washed his hands of any potential failure. Well, I think if they win, I should get all the credit. And if they lose, I should not be blamed at all, OK? But it'll probably be just the opposite. Donald Trump thought he could ride the red wave to complete his takeover of the Republican Party. He failed. He does maintain significant sway in the party, but after the midterms, he also has new Republican rivals. In particular, in Florida, where Governor Ron DeSantis was overwhelmingly re-elected. We've accomplished more than anybody thought possible four years ago, but we've got so much more to do, and I have only begun to fight. More conventional, less divisive, while advocating conservative values. DeSantis has emerged as an outsider who could block Trump's path to the White House in 2024.